Welcome everyone. We are uh, shooting a new episode, something a little bit different from what you've seen previously, and we're entitling this Southern Ethos Life Unhitched. And why are we unhitched? Because we're having conversations off the road, some things that we want to share with you that we weren't able to include in the previous episode, but things that we thought were either interesting, tidbits, or just some overall tips. It's a new year and we're chasing new adventures. We're Mika and Reggie, camping newbies intrigued by the RV lifestyle. So we made the decision on the weekends to move from the couch to camping. And as Southerners, we always tow our hospitality and charm as we chase the sun, sand, and sea in our RV. As you all have maybe noticed in our previous video, you saw multiple RVs, uh, travel trailers. We actually had two travel trailers that we interchanged and mixed in and out. Mm -hmm. Well, we wanted to go ahead and explain ourselves up front uh, to you all in regards to that. We actually ended up trading in our new RV for the RV that we have now. It was a situation where it was, it's not you, it's us. It's time to break up with this RV. Yeah, and as you all knew her as Essie that we introduced her, um, unfortunately Essie just didn't fit the bill anymore. And that is why we decided to part ways. So we wanted to share with you the top three reasons why we traded in our new RV. And the number one reason was a dedicated space to eat. Which you see before you now. So in Essie... We only had the theater seating or the recliners, and we still a front kitchen, which we enjoyed, mm -hmm. but honestly, we had nowhere to eat. We were eating off TV trays, our laps, um, anything <laughs> essentially that we could kind of find to sit inside, or we were outside eating, which is great, but at sometimes you want to have dinner inside and, and be peaceful away from the elements. Exactly. And along those themes, number two reason why we traded in our new RV is because of a walk-around bed. We did not have that in our lovely SE. No, actually the bed was kind of uh, on a raised platform. And I was great. I was good. I'd walk in, roll right in a bit. I was fine. But her? Yeah, it was a real sketchy situation because it was elevated. I had a step stool that I ha would have to use to get in and get out. So it was a constant... Either I'm slipping, I'm falling, I'm bracing myself against the side of the RV. A couple times I came up short, so there was a lot of thumps in, at night. Uh, or I was crawling over him, either getting in and getting out of the bedroom. And so that really became aggravating. And then in addition to that, uh, you had to pull the mattress almost completely off just to put the covers on and make the bed on each trip. And that just became extremely annoying doing acrobatics just to make your bed yeah some serious macabre moves needed to be engaged to to make a bed or even get out get around in a bedroom but the other thing along with that was getting dressed in the hallway mm -hmm. um getting dressed in the kitchen you know i i get it but at some point you want to be able to get dressed in your bedroom and the privacy of your bedroom so that actually just made it I kind of broke the the camp. What did they say? The straw that broke the camel's back. Mm -hmm. That was it. That's what broke the back. So, yeah. I mean, you don't think it's a, a large thing until you start traveling more, you're going longer distances, and then that just becomes, hey, this is just it's not working out. And then number three, uh, why we broke up uh, with Essie is for outside storage. Uh, we lack that inside with the front kitchen marvelous space outside different story yeah i mean i essentially had a pull out drawer that was probably about four feet long maybe a foot wide and everything that you use the rv uh needed to go in that pull out tray so that was kind of a bummer mm -hmm. um and just having some things when we're out i didn't i'd forget things or we were leave things or it was just a mess honestly for a storage standpoint and to be able to enjoy your trip um using the bed of my truck you know in and out with pillows chairs all the things you guys need so this rv here actually offers much much more storage 
and gives us the ability to leave items on the rig without having to take them on and off and possibly forgetting them back at home. Exactly. So, again, it, we were fortunate that we were able to trade our old RV in and we were able to find the one that fit us best. Um, the first one was around 25 feet. We only went up about five feet. You know, we're still at the 29, 30 range, right. but it has made a world of difference in our RV experience. Yep. And so we just want to leave you with that if you're new, you're still trying to figure this out, um, pay close attention not only to those floor plans, but look really close when you do those walkthroughs understand when you have to be in this space when the excitement is gone at the end of the night or the early morning how will you maneuver around that rv and that's just another tip that we wanted to share so hope that you enjoyed our first episode of southern ethos life unhitched and please stay tuned if you like what you saw please like us Please subscribe. Absolutely. And then hit that bell notification so you can be reminded when we post to a new video. So appreciate your time. We really appreciate you. And we'll see you guys in the next video.